Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna talk a bit today about the Chinese tier 10 light, uh, medium tank, the 121. And I have a, I don't know, I have a checkered past relationship with this tank. We're on the, I don't remember what this this map's called, it's some kind of ice map. And um, I'm not sure how to feel about this vehicle. I kinda like it some games and I kinda hate it other games. Like, if people shoot heat at you, they can pretty much shoot right through your, your plate, and they can shoot right through your front of your turret. But, if they don't shoot, like, all the premium rounds at you, then it's not... The armor can can work a little bit, but it really severely hampers the the movement ability of the one two one for me. Uh, but the, the worst thing about it is the, the gun depression. I wish they would give it, like, minus six, uh, considering how much less agile it is compared to other medium tanks so we're over here on this ice road and we have a phase one and an is4 and i try and get out of the way here for the is4 because he's got way more frontal armor than me he can bounce a lot more than me and he should be the one who's gonna vanguard this this tanking maneuver through here so it looks like there's an e50 and a centurion action 10 up on the road over here and I see this guy's running back around the corner, and I don't really feel like poking out too hard to, to try and get a shot at this stupid light tank. So I'm going to back up around the corner, and it looks like the, the troop of heavy tanks have moved up a little bit, and I'm going to see if I can get the gun down to, to shoot this Centurion, because he's gone down a little bit. So he goes dark for a second, and then... I back up and think, do I need to go this way? And I'm like, no, I'll just dunk the whole frickin' tank around um, so I can look down. And I just plunk it over the edge, look down, and, and blast away. I have this set up with a rotation device, I think vertical stabilizer and vents. And the gun handling sometimes is just off the charts, not great. And sometimes it works. Like on this shot here, ended up getting the shot in. And the accuracy is is okay, and yeah, I'm just I have games in this vehicle where it's just lots of pain, and I'm trying to get a shot, trying to get a shot, and I look back over here to see if I can hit this guy instead, and that shot was not led quite enough, so I'm just going to concentrate on this 277 who's driving around in the middle here, and do I have a shot at this guy? No. Do I have a shot at this guy? Currently, no. So instead of trying to push forward uh, on a, a one on like a front, like a frontal charge uh, through this ice road, I decided to move up a little bit more to see if I can get a little bit better angle on some of the tanks that are, are cruising around in the middle here. And I haven't played too much up here on this upper road. And I'm gonna see if I can get more shots into this guy. So I'm gonna aim in and end up taking out the, the 277. So that is a nice result. And this game was fairly even at this point. I think we were even losing. Um, so I decided to pop down here and see if anything was gonna pop up that I could shoot at. And I had played some games where I was really overly aggressive with the 121. So this game I was playing my, my cars a little closer to my chest and wanted to be a little bit more tactical and, and careful about what I was doing. So I pop up here and I don't see any tanks. And now I've bypassed my heavies and I'm actually driving down into this middle area over here. And this is kind of an interesting place in the map and I actually, I don't mind going over here now that I've kind of figured it out. Because um, I don't really like going to the heavy corner with a medium tank, and this tank obviously is, is going to be trash on the midridge because it has no gun depression. It has to pretty show the entire tank, and that defeats the purpose of going over here. So we, we managed to catch the TVP as he was hiding around that corner, and then he, he jumps back down around this way, and I decide, okay, I might as well go for this, see if I can maybe nail this guy as he's coming around. And I mostly aimed that shot, and it did dunk a little bit low, but I still managed to hit him, which was nice. So, fairly good result so far. Managed to nail three tanks, and things are looking a little bit more rosy now. We're even, almost, well, we're even now. It's 
well, now we're winning, <laughs> as far as kills go, anyway. So, managed to pull things down to 8-7. To so, I'm going to drive down into this little depression over here. And I like this little flat-edged plateau, if you can get over here. This is where their enemy team likes to camp, right around here. And I'm just going to look around a little bit and see if anything pops up. And I'm going to end up catching this E50 as he's driving sideways and I put a shot in there and normally if I had a tank with gun depression I could probably pull back shoot through the bushes and do that kind of jive but since I have no gun depression I pretty much have to shoot in the bush and then we saw that the T30 dropping into the the center little corridor place over there and gonna see if I can get another shot into this E50 if he just drops back a second and boom managed to take him out so nice result there and end up taking a I was probably still lit because you're lit for like 25 30 seconds now I guess in this game um, and I'm seeing if I can maybe get a shot in on this t30 and not really so it would be really nice if I could shoot this VZ over on the other side of the map so I'm gonna drop down and loop around this side to see if I can get some kind of shot into here because I think that most of the TDs that are camping in the back here are probably not going to be where I am. And I'm just trying to see if one of my guys are going to be able to spot this guy or not. And if he's, I don't know if he's still under that ice bridge, obviously because he's not spotted. So it's nice that we have two of our T30s hanging around in the mid. And then we've got a leopard. And he's going to go and try and flush out this ELC who is going to be spotting us, and that's not great. Because they have one clicker left, and we don't have any clickers. And the score is tied 10-10 now, and it was still relatively even. It could be anyone's game, depending on how people play. So, I decide that I'm going to try and sit in a spot where I can maybe catch this, this light tank. If he's going to try and not go on the road, if you like the upper road, which is probably not where he would want to go because then he would be stuck if he ran into anything. So I'm going to pull up over into this area here and see if I can catch him. And then I get distracted by the, the VZ. So I'm going to pull up and see if I can get some shots into this guy. And boom, that shot ended up going in really nicely. And that turned out really well. Now I'm going to pull up again. And gun depression over the side of the tank. Probably pretty similar to over the front. Um... The snow here is a bit treacherous. I tried to climb up over the, the right side a little bit here, and it was just, it was too much for the one to one <laughs> It was pretty sad. I was like, man, come on. So I'm just going to sit here and see if I can spot anything. And then sure enough, he just pulls up right in front of me, shoots me on the move, which is pretty nice. And I take a bit of damage, but I end up taking out the rest of their eyes, which is really nice. And... Things are looking a bit better now as we've managed to square away two more of their tanks. So now we're winning 12 to 10. And just want to make sure I'm off the radar for a little bit. And then I'm going to start skirting the lower edge of this, this ridge line here to see if I can spot anything that's coming up. And I know off to the right there's a big bushel of, of trees. And I've been caught a, a couple times by the the TDs that like to camp in those bushes because they can spot, pull back, and then and then shoot you through the bushes. So you got to be careful um, along the, the right side of the map there. And then there's all, all obviously all the, the huge bushes that are up along the uh, the back edge of the map where the tank destroyers like to sit on, on Camper's Hill right off to the right there. So I decided to relocate all the way over here to see if I can pop up here and see if anything is going to spot me when I stick my fairly strong turret up over the the lip of here to see if the which tank destroyers got their guns pointed towards me and which artilleries are pointing towards me and I'm not getting spotted so they must have been pretty dug in pretty deep back there and we've got our leopard and myself and our, our t30s aren't too far behind so I think we're doing pretty good here so I'm gonna just kind of look around kind of pat around and I think he I think the first tank that pops up is the Scorpion because he's going to blast me for about 500 damage. So I'm, I'm driving in, driving in, and I'm not sure where they are. And then a little bit off to my left, we end up getting spotted 
um, we shoot the artillery and kill him, and then get hit by the the scorpion who's sitting there, and almost reloaded at this point. And I'm gonna take one more shot and then take him, which is gonna secure my top gun for me. And the only tank left is the uh, the tank just threw over here, and the tank fell incredibly slow right here on the on the snow. Like I was just like. Whoa. It was just like not wanting to go forward. I don't know if I was climbing and it was on snow, but it felt pretty pretty lethargic right there. So it was a pretty good win. Ended up uh, scoring away uh, quite a few kills. Got a I don't know, not too much damage. It was around three thousand, I think. So it wasn't like a, a ultra mega carry or anything, but nonetheless, it was a fun game, and I think I had a, a pretty big impact on the outcome. Just. Um, trying to learn some other parts on that map because I don't have too much experience playing that one. That one came in right around when I stopped playing a few years ago. Um, and now it's kind of made its way back into the... I've made my way back into the game, obviously. Uh, and, and I'm running into some of the maps that I don't have much experience with, like Pilsen and stuff. So, yeah, pretty fun game. Ended up doing a, a good amount of kills and some decent damage and carried that game out. So, I just want to thank everyone for watching! And don't crash and burn like the T-49. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Hope you're having a good weekend and happy Halloween to anyone who's made it this far to the end of the video. You're the champs. I'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.